So from 2.9 crore jobs created between 2004 and 14, you have now moved to 12.5 crore jobs. And you're way on the way to becoming the second largest metro system in the world, overtaking Japan and Korea. You have moved 250 million people out of multidimensional poverty. So new jobs have been created and the re recent reports also show us. What would you like to add on this? No, you're absolutely right, ma'am. That's one of the uh, uh, reports which is uh, doing the rounds for the last few hours that the chief economist of the uh, State Bank of India, I think his name is Soumya Kanti Ghoshji, he's brought out a report which indicates that in the last 10 years, that is the 10 years of the Modi government from 2000 and, uh, uh, you know, 14 to 2024, a total of 12.45 um, 12 crore jobs were created. So whenever you come up with a figure like this, the uh, immediate question that arises, and this report covers it, what happened in the previous 10 years? That is the years of the um, uh, Congress-led UPA government. And there the figure contrasting to this 12.5 is 2.9. So from 2.9 crore jobs created between 2004 and 14, you have now moved to 12.5 crore jobs in 2014 to 24. But you know, you should look at this, this figure of job creation in a wider context. During this period, I'm talking about the post-2014 period, we have moved to the position of the fifth largest economy in the world. We were earlier at number 11 or our, now 10th place, so we moved to that to fifth place. But more important, if you continue to grow at this rate, and Martin Wolf, uh, who writes for the um, Financial Times of London, um, he said that India is well on its way to become a high income, uh, high middle income country. Of course, uh, he has some skepticism on whether we'll be a fully developed country, but you know, Western skeptics can write what they like, but following facts tear out. Today, from being the fifth largest economy, we are on the way to becoming the third largest economy. If you look at our infrastructure, if you look at what we've done on the housing front, Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana, if you look at the kind of mobile phones that you are exporting, the value, $100 billion, if you look at your urban transport system, you have now moved from something like 240 kilometers of metro lines in when the prime minister assumed responsibility to now 965 kilometers. And you're way on the way to becoming the second largest metro system in the world, overtaking Japan and Korea. But I think against this, what stands out is over the 10-year period, and this is a very fundamental thing, you have moved 250 million people out of multidimensional poverty. You know, when the Millennium Development Goals were being uh, discussed in the UN, I remember people said that the poverty reduction has largely come from one country, with a little bit of help from India, South Africa. But in the case of the Sustainable Development Goals, or the Agenda 2030, on which we have embarked now, the SDGs will succeed because India will succeed. And India is succeeding because of the programs of the central government, the Modi government, no matter which area you look at it, SDG 11, SDG 5, etc. But coming to jobs at a time when globally job, you know, economic growth is largely jobless because it comes from technology. For us to have created 12.5 crore jobs here in the... Um, uh, formal sector, and in addition, the number of people who are on the, um, you know, what is called the Udayam uh, registration portal of MSME, total 20 crore people are there. So all in all, it shows that the economic indicators, no matter what our opposition parties will say, I mean, they would obviously not want to compare it with their 10 years, but I would conclude with one point, madam. Just now I was looking at uh, a few days ago. Today, of course, the Prime Minister has returned from a highly successful uh, tour of Russia, the Russian Federation, Moscow, and Vienna. But a few days ago, when he was at the G7 summit, and I looked at the leaders present there, he is the first leader out of the democratic world 
who has returned for a third term. If you look at those who were gathered there, I mean, all the major democracies were gathered there, uh, I don't know whether any of the leaders will get a second term also. Certainly, that is not the uh, Im impression I'm getting from North America, the United States, or from uh, Western Europe.